Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, just know that I'm saying hello. How are you guys doing today? I hope that you are doing well. Um, we're going to do a little running and a little talking today because we're running a few errands. My favorite thing to do. So hopefully it's not too shaky and rocky. I wanted to kind of talk on the way to Target is where I'm going. Honestly, I have been dealing with something, guys. I have been dealing with skin issues since 2020. Since my husband and I got married, for some reason, 2020 was just the year that my skin decided to do other things. All my life, up to 2020, I have had perfect skin. I've had clear skin, no issues at all, no scarring, not even acne. As a young girl, like middle school, you know, that's when you kind of tend to get acne and acne scarring, but I did not have pimples. I did not have acne scarring, none of that when I was in middle school. My skin, that was one thing that I can say was really well all throughout life. I never had any skin issues. So since 2020, I have been dealing with acne scarring really, really bad. And when I get a chance to kind of stop and show you guys, I will. Um, but I've been dealing with hyperpigmentation really, really bad. And honestly, it's just on my right side always on my right side that's where i always tend to break out as well and under my under my nose for some reason i've all i've always break out on the right side and on my nose so i've been trying to figure out different things to do i've also been covering it up with makeup um and you know, sometimes makeup can kind of make it worse. This makeup does not define you, so yeah. But I kind of wanted to start the vlog off with there and kind of tell you guys what's going on with me. But when I get a chance to stop and when it's not too rocky and too loud, I will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a close up look on my skin as of right now i just let you guys know again why i'm here at target out of all places number one is my favorite place you guys already know that but i wanted to kind of give you guys a close-up so if you can see i know these are kind of just small little pimples but they're irritating and they're here all the time so i'm tired of them i want them to leave me alone all the time i don't want them to come back so i have this one here i have this one here i have one here and all of this you know situation going on like i said my right side is the side that's always um breaking out and getting that scarring and that hyperpigmentation i've reached the point that honestly I am okay with it. I just don't want to continue breaking out. So I'm here at Target to get some kind of um, face moisturizing cream. And I don't want to start with just buying those expensive things because we all know sometimes the drugstore stuff works a little better. And I've saw some very good reviews on the uh, Cetaphil Moisturizing, Hydrating Moisturizer, something like that. I need something to kind of moisturize my skin. I'm also looking for like a um, sunscreen uh, because I heard that, you know, sunscreen also helps with hyperpigmentation. So I'm looking for that as well. And I need to re-up on my face wash when i get home i'm gonna show you guys the face wash that i've been using 
um and i got that from nordstrom is it's really trendy um i cannot remember right now i cannot remember the name of it but i got it from nordstrom because everybody was talking about it but like i said we don't have to go out and buy those expensive things just off rip when drugstore products work just as best um i just need something to thoroughly clean my skin and get a good hydration in my skin so that's what i am working towards i want this right now i have on blush so of course it looks like kind of concealed but i want all this going i want all this going but if it doesn't happen i'm cool with it i wear makeup anyway but i want all of it going All right, you guys, so I must say this is days later, but when you have footage, you keep it. So what I'm about to do right now is my skincare. I'm showing you guys those spots that I was talking about. You see it. It's actually not that bad, but like I said, I have a favorite spot or a favorite side on my face. Those are all of the skincare products that I use on my face. I have um, some water. I forgot what that's called, but it's to take my makeup off. I use the tea tree oil sometimes after um, applying my moisturizer just to give that extra, you know, extra glow. Um, this is the cleanser that I was talking about from Nordstrom's. Y'all, that was like $30, but I can say that I do like that. You see, I'm trying to use every drop. You feel me? Because it was like $32. So, I mean, it's not the holy grail or nothing like that. You can definitely go to Target like I did and get you some um, Cetaphil or whatever that other stuff is called. Use that, girlfriend. Use that. So I thoroughly try to clean my face with both um, products. I use the cleanser first and then go in with the hydrating facial cleanser. Um, just because the hydrating facial cleanser doesn't give me a lot of like um, suds and stuff. And I feel like because it doesn't give me a lot of suds, it's not effective in a way. So that's my way of kind of tricking myself out to make it seem like it's really working. You know what I mean? But it leaves my face really, really soft and baby smooth. And then I go in with the moisturizer, which also leaves my face very moisturized, very soft, very baby smooth and glowing. So now that we are done, it is time to head downstairs, open these blinds, because I love letting that bright sunlight into my home. I mean, I open them all the way up, girlfriend, and I just sit down there like a little old lady and make my coffee, make my breakfast, talk to my mom. I talk to my mom for like hours in the morning if I can. She just brightens up my day child just like me pulling these curtain these uh blinds back my mom just brightens up my day i love talking to her she is my girlfriend <laughs>
so while we are sitting here waiting on my coffee what are you guys getting into for the holidays like i mentioned in my last vlogmas video we are going home to north carolina praise god we're gonna be there for like three weeks so i'm so excited i'm thinking about all the things that i'm gonna go home and eat including all of the family members that I'm gonna go home and see, of course. But what's really on my mind is a cookout platter, you know, from the restaurant cookout. Um, I want a supreme dinner from Bojangles. I want some hibachi, some like little corner store in the wall. Um, I know I didn't say that right, but some hibachi from a little place because here in Hawaii they don't have like hibachi so those are just a few things Chad So around this time, I start to hear my husband coming downstairs, noticing that I'm making breakfast. So of course I had to throw him some bacon in the pan and making some oatmeal because what kind of wife eats without their husband eating as well? You know how it go. So I am finally about to sit down and enjoy my breakfast and the rest of my morning. But y'all, I'm doing my voiceover off of my husband's mic. And I'm really loving this vibe, y'all. It's giving me ASMR, y'all. Let me know in the comments if I should do an ASMR video. Would you guys like it with my southern accent? <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I will see you in the next Vlogmas video. Thank you.